What is happening? God, please help my daughter. Okay. I'm God. Oh my God. What is happening, God? I don't know. The line is not going. What is happening? Even Doris, Doris is not what even is happening. I don't know. What is what happening? happening? Wait. There is no indicate. Hey. It's like Judith's voice. Please. Yes, please. Judith's voice. Judith's voice. My dear, thank God. What happened? Daddy, the crisis outside is terrible. Oh my God. I've been trying, you are lying. My battery ran down. Oh my God. Thank oh God, you are here. I'm trying to get through when I had the, 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 the crisis outside. Where's Judy? Where's Judy? It's inside. Oh, let's get it. Huh? It's inside. Huh? Let's go inside so that you will tell us. Huh? The crisis is terrible. Oh my God. Oh, thank you. Thank you. <laughs> calling you. Calling you a liar. I had to oh, run, Daddy. They are burning cars and burning houses. Jesus. People. Ah, Jesus. People everywhere. Oh, sorry, my God. Oh, I glorify you. Oh, what, what is happening? You? What's happening? Eh? It's alright. Don't worry. God is in control. My God. I just thank God that we have finished our own finals. What would I have done? I can't further in Joss. The crisis is too much. On and off, on and off. I can't further in Joss. My dear, take it easy. I want you to relax. Everything is under control. Please, don't panic. Let us go to Psalm 91. He that dwelleth in the secret place of the Most High shall abide under the shadow of the Almighty. I will say of the Lord, He is my refuge and my fortress. My God, in Him will I trust. Surely, He shall deliver thee, deliver thee from the snare of the Oh, this is the thing that we say that every, the normal house my return is the same. And I will post, just come off here. Thank you. I'm free to go about the normal businesses. Thank you. God bless you. Thank God. God has intervened. The governor has declared coffee. This cause for prayer. Let us thank God. Please rise. And let us thank God. You are the Lord. Let's run and be glorified. You are my Jesus. Let's run and be glorified. Who really Mama, I'm not going to church with you today. I'm going to the Mivon's church. Her mom is having Thanksgiving today. Why didn't you tell us before? Mama, I was telling you yesterday evening, but you were, you were not listening. You were doing something. It's okay. Make sure you lock the back door before going out. Please, come back in time, eh? Okay, ma. I think you should try it. I hear it's really nice. Don't try it. The minute I do it, you're the first person I'm going to look for. <laughs> no, but I'm not scared. It's um, practical, so I'll just drink it and see how I'm going to be feeling. You're yeah, not serious. Please, we have told you as a child. I'm going to ask her why, why she should do that. Yeah. Thank you, thank you, thank you so much. Thank you so much. Of course, I'm not a very good person. I have to worry now. Why? Because I didn't tell my parents I'll be scaling church. But it's not fair now. Just can't you just stay for the merriment? No, no. Why now? It's not fair now. I know, but I can't stay. So why did you bother to come at all if you knew that you must stay till the end? My father is a pastor, and he doesn't like me going to other churches because he fears that their doctrines will corrupt mine. So I have to go. Let's go and eat rice. Exactly. Yeah. Don't go now, now. I have to go. Don't go. You're not going anywhere. Don't go anywhere. Let's go. He thinks I'm at the children's compartment now. If he finds out I left church, that's his trouble. No. Did you hear the latest? What? I'm 
someone just told me that uh, um, a crisis started um, on Bauchi Road. They attacked a small church. This what? Yes. What's the name of the church? I don't know. I didn't ask him. I was just, I didn't understand what he was saying. Our church is in that area. Which one? Let's go and ask the guy for police. Oh my, my God! Where's the guy? That's what I'm waiting for. Let's go and take me. Yeah, Come no, and no, take don't me. Don't it's okay. It's okay, my child. Hmm? You can say that. Your life was made for a purpose. God knows better. He knows better. Purpose. What purpose are you made for? Please. You can't question God. He knows best. You have to pull yourself together. You have to. My dear, most families we are completely wiped out from the surface of this earth. But God spared you just for the sake of your family's name. Put yourself together. Hmm? Everybody's destiny is not the same. Your father, my brother, was a good man. So he deserves to live. But God knows better. Please hold yourself. Sudden, the useless boy started shouting and fire and fire. Everybody ran helped us kill her. The girl was confused and didn't know where to run to, so she ended up inside the well. Oh my god, look, are you mad? Inside the well. I mean, that's really sad. I mean, I, I feel so bad for her. That's, that's sad. What kind of a stupid joke is that? Alice, her situation is better than my own. She was saved. It's better than my family that was slaughtered and burnt to ashes. Oh. Stop joking. It's okay. God knows best, eh? What happened to the stupid boy now? Oh, first the soldiers. They used their belts on him very, very well. Mm -hmm. That's him right. It's him right. right. But, but I mean, how can some people such a stupid joke? Oh, no. stupid. Just what if the girl like that? It was like, he <laughs> to the world. Mm -hmm. But I want you to take it easy. Relax. And look forward for a better tomorrow. My daughter, I know that we can never fill the vacuum left by your parents. But we shall try our best, knowing that we are related to them. On my own part, I promise to be a mother to you at all times. Whatever I give to my daughter, I will definitely give it to you, won't I? And as for education, feeding and accommodation, I promise I will do my best. Thank you very much, Uncle. And so thank you very much. I I really appreciate everything you've been doing for me and everything you're willing to do for me. God bless you. That's all. You can't 
tattoo. Thank you very much. What did you tell him? Who? His proposal. Oh. Mm. Mm. <laughs> As usual. What? I'm still posing for him. <sighs> Come on, Yvonne, we are big girls. I don't even tell me. We are big girls whether you like it or not. See, I know that you're right. Yes, we are big girls. Mm -hmm. We're babes now. I mean, just, just stop posting him for too long. You know how these boys are. He's an area boy. I don't trust him. Babe. Okay. You're right, Sha. Mm -hmm. You're very correct. Mm -hmm. You men are very useless. Very useless. Post him, post him, post him. Next time you jam him now, it's with another girl. Try to confront him, you'll give you the biggest disgrace of your life. Mm -hmm. That's the way backward. You see? So mm -hmm. next time you see him, just agree. You can't agree like that. You will agree now. I agree like how. <laughs> um, Igbo, what? It's granite now. I don't want to eat. You must eat. 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 eat granite. Ivan, it's good for your health. Eat granite. <laughs> Enough pimples for you. <laughs> From your jaw to your nose. Everywhere. <laughs> Don't waste the granato. What? Don't waste the granato. Count to waste. Hundred naira. Don't waste. I've checked my own. Check my own. I'm checking it now. It's not what I'm checking now. Microbiology. I'm checking it. Microbiology. I know. I'm checking it. <laughs> By the time I land that university campus as a degree student, <laughs> the way forward, fire because I've already done my shopping. Should I be laughing at me? Here we are. Here we are. Microbiology. 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 Your name is not here. What do you mean my name is not here? <laughs> oh my god! Hey. What's funny? Uh, uh. Invest in me by first now. It's not for everybody. Let's check yours, let's check yours. Listen, I have prayed and prayed. I don't want my name to come out for the direct entry. So my mother can allow me to go and stay with my auntie in Port Harcourt. What kind of wish is that? That's what I wish for. I don't want to go to any university. I am happy. I am so happy. Because my sister, if you say I don't pass, my dad for skinned me alive. I know. Congratulations. Come on, check your own. I'm not checking anything, I beg. There's nothing there for me. No school, no work, nothing. My daughter, if you ask me, I will tell you to stay here with me until you get your direct entry admission. Mom, there is no need to do that. See, there is no need. You know, Auntie Carol has connection in the University of Port Harcourt. All I need to do is just to go over there, stay with her a bit, and just be very loyal and good to her. Then she'll have reasons to help me. Anyway, if you said so, no problem. But I want you to still remember what I have been telling you. You know the kind of family you come from. Mm -hmm. eh? Please. Don't do anything that will affect your future. At least you can learn from my own condition. Mama, don't you trust me? Don't trust your daughter. She'd know me better than this now. I'm a very good girl. I'll never do anything that will destroy my future. You know it now. I know, I know, I know. I know you will make me proud. So, when are you going back? I'm thinking of going tomorrow. Eh? Just like that? Yes, Mama. No, no, no. Wow. Is that how you love me? <laughs> You're going in tomorrow. Don't you know I will miss you? Mama, I know I love you. I love you so much. But no, 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 no. Why don't you leave it next weekend? This weekend. Okay, okay. I'll go on Sunday. <laughs> hey, please, that will be okay. What did your father say? 
My sister, I don't understand that man anymore. I mean, do you blame a man that lost his shops and, and, and properties to one stupid thing called riot? You know, my mother is suffering the same hardship. Her shop was burnt to ashes. Oh, wow. wow. Some have food but cannot eat. Some can eat but what, have what, no food. What, what are you singing? I'm just saying, God should have just given the admission to Yvonne or to you. Knowing that our parents can't afford it. Dr. Doris, I beg your pardon? You're sounding like you're any better. Choma, 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 you shouldn't have said that. That was harsh. Choma, you shouldn't have said that. Ah, that was really harsh. That was harsh. <laughs> okay. Uh, wait, wait, wait. Okay, wait. Let me. I'll call you later. I'll call you later. All right. One minute. One minute, Abby. Hey, hey, madam. This is Judith. <laughs> Why are you shouting? Ah, you must stop shouting, Joe. I'm fine. I'm fine. I'm just broke. Man, even this town is dead. I pray this town is dead. Nothing is happening here. Oh, they are fine, they are fine. Choma and Doris are fine. Do you know Choma has not been able to raise that 11,000 naira for her registration fee? <laughs> Talk less of her school fees. She has not raised it yet though. Even no. Don't worry. I know if you have, you give her. I'll tell her, I'll tell her. Eh? <laughs> okay, okay, okay. I have to go, I have to go. All right, yeah. Bye. Let's. Even I have to go. My money will finish. I have to go. <laughs> okay. Bye. I mean. Two minutes. Plus that one, three. Mm -hmm. Give me fifty. I owe you ten. Okay. Thank you. All right. Bye bye. Ah, oh, God! You're still betting? Sorry, I woke up late. Sorry, I'm Please hurry up, okay. eh? Uh, come on, come on. What kind of soap did you use? Um, I, I, I used that. That what? That kid. <laughs> How much is it? It's 13 naira. Oh, you won't. Just please. Um, look, you can't continue like this. Yes, you have a clean skin, but that is not enough reason for you to get into my game. Look, guests of your age in this town use so that what thousands of naira. Even Margaret, my sauce girl, uses expensive soap. What is this uh, that what? See, Margaret is working. I'm not working. I can't buy expensive soaps. How much do I pay her in a month? She does not rely on her salary to take good care of herself. She has a rich boyfriend. Sweetheart, so wake up! What is this doubt of what? Um, well, Yvonne, I've been watching you since you got here. Um, it's like you don't have a boyfriend. Well, you know what? I'll hook you up with somebody that will take good care of you, okay? Just hurry up, eh? Maybe, just hurry up.
Her father died when she was very young. Please, Chief, I would like you to take good care of her as if she's your own sister. Madam Carol. <laughs> Chief. <laughs> you know me now. I mean, we have come a long way. If anyone should come now to make inquiries about me, I'm sure you will give me a very good recommendation. Of course I will. Oh. I will. Chief, I trust you. I know what you can do. <laughs> so let me check if she's ready. No. Chief, Chief. <laughs> Chief, I'm coming, eh? Auntie, oh my god, you need to see his house, his cars, and you know that new car was advertised yesterday on TV, yes. the exes, he has it. Auntie, <laughs> his swimming pool, his garage, his house is so big, it's like, it's a mansion, you can even get lost in that house. Auntie, god, he's a millionaire, he has so much money, hey god. <laughs> my dear, I'm sure you've not seen anything yet. That is probably one of his numerous properties on this butter court, my dear. <sighs> Chief Tony is a billionaire. Hey. I saw it yesterday and he's a billionaire. He has so much money. And guess what? He gave me 300,000 naira just to accept to date him more. <laughs> My dear, that is just the beginning. When Chief Tony gets used to you, yes. sweet dad, you will own your own properties in the spot. Hey. Oh, God. Hey, God. And tell, thank you so much. Thank you. God will bless you. Yes, no problem. I'm so grateful. Thank you so much. Thank you. <laughs> No problem. As long as you take good care of my sister, that is your mother. Auntie, that's not your problem. You know, I love my mother so much. That's not your problem. Thank you so much. I trust Thank you. you. I know what you can do. That's not problem. <laughs> Chidit, he is God sent. God. You know, there are some men that are rich, but they don't spend on their women. But this one is rich and he spends on his women. <sighs> Chief Tonye is God sent. You know what? You know what? I'll send you 20,000 right today. Yes, yeah, 20,000. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Listen now, listen. Okay, give um, 5,000 right to Choma. Then give 5,000 right to Doris and keep 10,000 right. <laughs> I know. Just wait, stop now. <laughs> Judy, 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 wait, wait. Okay, you know what? You know, I miss you girls a lot. I miss you girls. My sister, ah, PH. PH is wonderful, no? Hey, God. <laughs> Oh God, oh God, I'm enjoying here. It's not too good. I'm enjoying. <laughs> okay, now. Bye bye. <laughs> bye bye. Bye bye. Bye bye. Hey, God. <laughs> How did this go? Oh my God, don't kill me. It's about uh, my education. I was just thinking that I, I, I want to go to the University of Port Harcourt and collect a part-time form so I can go back to school. Sweetheart, it's a good idea. But I don't think you should do that yet. Knowing you fully well that schooling will not allow you to do some certain things you are supposed to do. My dear, I expect you to talk about schooling when you are completely made, you gather enough money and invest in some kind of business. Huh? Then you can go back to school. Auntie, but won't I be too old by then? Like, I'm so young right now, I can still go back to school and make something out of my life. <laughs> Yvonne, education knows no age. There are people who are far older than you, but today they are in school, struggling for a Better tomorrow. So you'll have to see it. You will go back to school, okay? Go back to school. It's okay. I'm okay. I'm just going to be about to be right. It's okay. Yeah, I'm not right. Yes, my love. Okay. Hot or cold? Hot. It's baby. My dear, do you know I went to my former area this morning? What in the world did you go and do there? I wanted to sweep for myself. If truly the house was burned down to ashes, my dear, if not for the fact that you did and Yvonne gave me some clothes to wear, I would have been roaming this town naked. God forbid, you would never walk naked. 
Okay? You just have to keep thanking God for granting you the privilege to be I'm running because I'm excited. Oh, what's exciting you? Have they finally put your name in the supplementary list or something? I can get out. What's that? Anyways, I called Yvonne and she invited me over to Port Harcourt this weekend. Wow, that's good news. <laughs> that's the way forward. Now, wow. So Yvonne is now being partial about our friendship, inviting only you to Port Harcourt. Mm -mm, Doris, you don't expect us to pack ourselves like fish and go to Port Harcourt, do you? Moreover, that town is very expensive. Hmm. My sister, besides the poor girl is still living with her aunt. She said once she gets a place of her own, she will invite both of you over. Okay. Already sounding like a big girl and you've not even moved to the faculty. Get out. Sit down, let's go, guys. Get out. Get out. Get out. Get out. Get out. Bring that girl here. I'm hungry. <laughs> 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 Through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. 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 Daddy, she has already gotten the form for me and they've organized an aptitude test on Monday. That's why she asked me to hurry down. No, no, no. I don't like the sound of this. She should have informed you earlier than now. Uh, as a mother, so that I can rally around, get you some food. No, some mommy, food. I, I, don't, I don't need anything. I'm, I'm, I'm fine. How can I'm... you be fine without food? Look, you have to be prepared. Portacourt is very expensive. I'll make some money available for your mother to get you provision and a uh, little cash to sustain you, right? Daddy, thank you. Nice. Thank you, thank you, man. Nice. 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 Feed your eyes, girl. Feed your eyes. This one is a Prada. No Prada now. Prada now. $3,000, $4,000. $4, Prada. And this one is a Valentino. Not the designer they wear now, no more local markets. <laughs> it's a Valentino. Hey! <laughs> Yvonne. Yes, sir. Look at this shoe. From Italy. He bought it for me from Italy. Oh my god. This one. Yes, right. Where? Yes, right. From Paris. <laughs> Yvonne. <laughs> no, wait, enough, enough, enough. Enough, enough, enough. enough, enough, enough. Come on, give me a chance. Don't do it. Uh -huh. <laughs> How did that your father, that your very, very strict father, allow you to come out of the house? Ha! Yvonne, if I hadn't told him it was because of my education, he would never have let me come. Are you serious? <laughs> oh my God. Well, wonders will never end. Ah, doesn't he know that you're a big girl? That you're free to do whatever you want to do? Ah, pray. <laughs> my father actually thinks I'm still a baby. An innocent one at that. Ha! To be only innocent, virginary. Hey, I wish he knew how far I've gone in You've such gone very far. Well. <laughs> very, very far. Oh, gosh. It's nice to be here. Yeah, it's really, really nice, you know. So, tell me, welcome to what happened. Thank you. <laughs> yeah, babes. Don't worry. When you begin to send him thousands of naira, he will change his mind. Don't worry. Ha. Pain. Is money that easy to come by here? My dear. Hmm. It's all about linking you with the right people at the right time. Yes, it's not like that dead joss when a man gives you 5k, he thinks he has bought you on wholesale. I pray, I pray make you reach 5,000, I pray. <laughs> Listen to me, okay? I will introduce you to somebody. Tomorrow is Sunday, Abby. Mm -hmm. Sunday. I promise to take you where you will see men, how men spend on girls, how they spend on chicks, real men, okay? Listen, I'm dating this guy. This is my fantastic friend. He's such a wonderful person. He's my bubble. He gives me a lot of money. Yes, he's a rich dude. He's a multi-millionaire. He's crazy about me. Yvonne. Yvonne. Oh, Yvonne, lead me to somebody, his friend or anybody. No, I want no. to look like you. Listen, look at your wardrobe. Listen, listen, listen. He's talking about his friend. 
what he's concerned about is girls looking their best. Once you look good from head to toe, he will get tricked and he will just like you and start giving you all the money. Yes. You don't mind him looking at me? Mind? Babe, he's a married man now. A married man. What am I doing with him? Remember back in the days how we used to exchange men, how we used to date each other men. And also share our men now. It's not a big deal. You can grab from the national guy. Babe, he's not my husband now. <laughs> Do I care? Yvonne is big now. What are you doing? Yvonne! I pray my no go I'm doing it. I pray. I pray. <laughs> <laughs> your friend look at the way she's laughing my dear there's no sensible woman that leaves her dog and her pot of meat it's suicidal auntie i know it's suicidal but listen judith is my friend we've been friends for god knows how long since we're in nursery school whatever chief tonya tells her she must tell me i'm very sure of that okay auntie don't worry all right
only to Almighty God. May I pray to Almighty God, keep you safe, man. Respect to all my producers. I don't know. Yeah. This man on the mix. Some more. No, 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 no. I have to go now. Look, I, I think you're absolutely wonderful. Honestly. Oh, I, oh, I, oh I, I, you, I, you, you <laughs> will have some more, but not today. No. Oh, I have to oh, hurry. Oh, she oh, panics. Oh, come no. Come no. Oh. I have to go. <laughs> All right. Uh, but not one word to your friend about us. Trust me. Not one word. It is good. Just now, baby. Just give me gist. Give me gist. How far? How far? How far? You went well. How do you know? Well, very well. Oh, talk the gist now. Give me the full gist, baby. Why are you doing like this now? Well. Let's just say I gave the old man what he hasn't gotten in his entire life. <laughs> you don't finish this man, baby. You don't finish this man. Baby. True, true. Uh -huh. The man is a horse. Uh -huh. By the time I was done with hey. him, he couldn't have screamed my name till this morning. Hey. <laughs> Are you serious? Oh God. Baby, don't finish this man. You're not only a professional. You are a social worker. That reminds me. Guess what? what? The man gave me some people's one year salary. Two hundred thousand naira. What? Well, he tried, Sha. He tried. But listen, babes, listen. He can do more than this for you. He can do a lot. Yes, he can do a lot more for you. But you know what? You have to promise that you'll keep. My name. Hey, I pray, my wife. I pray. Hey, hey. You don't finish your own. You don't finish this man. But he likes you. I beg, I beg, I beg, I beg. I beg. It's like, like, go. Oh. You need to see the way he was begging me not to tell you. Forget that thing. I pray, man, not tell you. Forget that. That man does not like me. He doesn't even love me. Seriously. You know what? He just caught in between sweet and honey. And he doesn't know what to do. He's just confused, okay? Now, Kunji will kill him. I pray, man, not go back. I pray, man, not go back. <laughs> this girl, like, she's a bad girl. You're not funny. I'm saying, how did they die? They died. They died. Can't explain. Show me now. Hey, Jesus Christ. Hey, you are not dying. I can't tell you about it. You don't die. I can't tell you about it until you witness it. Ah, uh, but you know now, we are allowed to come and witness it. I pray, man, not go I pray, man, not go Hey, Jesus Christ. Hey, God. Hey. You should see the way he scolds me. Doris, Doris, listen. Daddy is not wicked. He's just a disciplinarian. Now you have to learn to tolerate him. You have to. You don't understand. It's worse than that. Though. See, he barely allows me to go out. I can't do anything. Me, I'm tired though. I'm tired. I know. I know. I've been there. And I get really upset too. But listen. If one and I will swim into our own apartment, then you and Chema can come and join us. But for the meantime, just, just, just tolerate them or just tolerate them. Please, I can't wait to come to Potakota and join you guys. I've had enough of this place. Uh, I've had enough, please, eh? I promise. Once we rent our own apartment, you'll come and join us, okay? Now, regards to Choma. And Jude, and Jude. Alright, thank you. Bye-bye. Hi. Bye. Yeah. Well, Sorry. She's complained that my parents wouldn't give her space. And my parents are complaining that she's unruly and she wouldn't listen. I just don't know what to do with them. But well, seriously, your parents should let her be. Things are not on the old fashioned way anymore. I mean, they just let the girl be. What's that? Your father is too strict. That's my father you're talking about. He's strict now. I pray. I pray. I'm a mean, pastor's daughter. I'm here. He gets a female. Okay, okay. I'm back. This is for you. Yes. Oh 
Will you always be my Valentine? Yes, 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 yes! Oh my God, 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 yes!
My sister, my dear, life is beautiful. Eh? <laughs> you can say that a million times. Life is beautiful. Lord, I mean, look at me. Yeah. Some broke ass chicken jobs. Mm -hmm. Where Christ is nearly killed. <laughs> now I'm here in Port Harcourt, driving my own car. Yes, sir. With enough money to yes, spend. Yes, sir. Money and my pan never see for a life. Oh, my God. <laughs> oh, my <laughs> girl. <laughs> Seriously. But thanks to my sister uh, and my best oh, friend. Oh, stop. Oh, God. <laughs> stop stepping on me. But seriously, you know, you're like my best friend, like my sister. You know, I love you so much, girl. I love you too. Ah. And, and yeah, I love it. you too. Like stop. A oh, stop it, girl. Stop <laughs> it. Stop it. Oh, my word. And so tell me, how were you able to convince him to buy you the car? It wasn't easy. I know. It wasn't easy at all. I knew. I had to work hard. Extremely hard. How hard? <laughs> how hard? <Very> hard. <laughs> Different positions. Different positions. <laughs> <laughs> that guy is so is a freak. <laughs> My God. So, after the hard work. Yes, sir. Then I started crying. Hi, God. Then he said, Oh, you know the way he hey. talks. My angel, what are you crying <laughs> for? <laughs> and then I said, He doesn't love me. Okay. And then he said, Why? I told him he loves him more than the way he loves me because Please. you are his angel and I am a hide and seek material. God. And he said, no, 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 why would I ever say that? So I told him he bought you a car mm -hmm. and I don't have a car. I don't even have a scrap. Mm -hmm. And guess what? What? So first thing tomorrow morning, I will get you a car. You did, bingo. You did. Bingo. <laughs> bingo. <laughs> You know, you're my girl any day, any time. Oh, you're yeah, a very smart girl, you know. For you to even cry, you know, guys fall for tears a lot. Yeah, You've got some girls. Oh, we're oh, coming, Auntie. No, I don't like this. I don't like this. But seriously, girl, it's high time we got our own houses in Port Harcourt. I can't yeah. even stand all this move your car there, stop your car there. I mean, this is Brooklyn Road. I can't even you're stand right, it. Mm. You're right. I think we should rent a bit of a Rent. Mm -hmm. <laughs> God. What are you talking about rent? I'm talking about buying a house in Port Harcourt, our own house. Yvonne, do you know how much a house costs in Port Harcourt? How much does a house cost in Port Harcourt? Okay, those girls buying houses up and down all over Port Harcourt, do they have two heads? No, they have one. <laughs> I'm even better than them. I pray I'm going to follow you. Uh -huh. <laughs> <laughs> Just you know. I mean, lead the way. Are you follow? And I will follow. You're so crazy. I blow.
London for Nigeria. He called me at 8 30 informing me that his flight was about to take off. Oh my god, he's dead, he's dead. He also called him about eight days and I should come up picking from the airport that he'll be arriving around noon. But I, I haven't heard from him since then. Oh my god, he's dead. of all this. Judith, for heaven's sake, stop letting me feel like the devil. I am not the devil, okay? The man is dead and gone. He just allow his soul rest in peace. Okay, tell me, what did you expect me to do? Hmm? Leave the money for his so-called wife who couldn't have a child for him because she was too busy in London sleeping around with small boys? Or oh, still, leave it for the lawyer to give it to the less privileged, right? Giving it to the less privileged should be a better idea. Oh, of course. It remains the best idea, Judith. Judith, listen. Are you not a less privilege? Am I not a less privilege? Didn't it just crisis affect us badly? Didn't it? Listen, Judith. We should take the money and run. All right? Yvonne, when it comes to issues like this, you know say so you don't get mind rich me. But come on, the man is dead. Yvonne, you know the watch horror film? Yes, that is not a fantastic idea. He is dead and gone. He cannot resurrect. He is dead. Nothing can happen. He is dead. Yes. You will chop this. You will chop this man. You will chop it so bad. Look at what I'm trying to help. Did you come to Apotaco to come and play here, or you came to make money? Look at this girl. Look. Rubbish. Trying to help someone. Just talking rubbish. You never get me angry right now. I'm just so pissed. Anywhere. I they go when the club, I they go anywhere. 
Hackett. Hi, thank you. The land where milk and honey flow. That is if you play your cards really well. You know, this town has rituals and killings too. You can do whatever you want to do in this town. The good, the bad, and the ugly. Now, you have to be careful with who you mingle with. You don't just mingle with anybody. Now that has been our secret for so long. <laughs> well said. Yeah, you have to be really careful with who you mingle with, as she says. He or she must be rich. Yes. Money is number one to co thing to consider when making friends. Rich and classy. Shama, can you hear them? Good job. Can you hear them? You know what? You can do whatever you want to do in this town. But please, who you associate with the masses. Now right. that, we are the girls that run things in this town. That's the name of the game. <laughs> and we've come to join you. <laughs> As Papa comes to you guys. Girls, the name of the game is Big Up Yourself. Yeah. Yeah. Shine your eyes. Mm. This is the welcome <laughs> gong. <laughs> Hi, how you doing? Hi. Hi, what's up? Um, are they fine? Um, you like this? This is beautiful, it suits you. Lovely. Make your choice. Yeah. <laughs> um, hi. Hi. You like that one? Um, no. I mean, I'm actually wondering, whoever made this show has got to be a clown. <laughs> well, this is perfect. Like, it's very feminine and it's going to suit you. Well, I'm so certain it'll suit you better. <laughs> <laughs> Just kidding. You speak so well, quite intelligently. Well, um, I'm a graduate. Wow, you are. Well, I'm a microbiology graduate from the University of Nigeria, Suka. Wow, my goodness. Yeah. Uh, so what are you doing here selling bags, shoes and clothes? Um, well, as you know, Portacot is a very tough city, so one has to get himself involved into something in order not to get broke. Hmm, you're a graduate. I could help you, you know. Really? <laughs> Yeah, I really don't like this. <laughs> <laughs> okay, uh, I guess I'll just put it back. Number? Um, okay, hello. Number. <laughs> uh, there you go. Thank you. What are you doing? Um, I have to go now. Oh, come on, Charlie. Yeah. Come on. Please. Stay a bit longer. No, I can't. I have to go see my sister. She's all alone by herself. Jordan, I'm certain your sister is fine. She's an adult. You know, sometimes I wish I, I had a place of my own, you know, where you can come around and sit and my sister under the same roof. I just have to go now, okay? <laughs> I can't believe I'm actually begging you to stay. But I am. Funny enough, I'm willing to do anything to make you stay. Let's have it this way. You spend the night with me, and by tomorrow, your sister and yourself will have a roof for your head. <laughs> wait, wait, wait. Are you serious? <laughs> Are you from the I said so. <laughs> wow. The house is so beautiful. I love it so much. It's perfect. I'm glad you like it. Wow. And I'm so grateful and I'm so thankful for everything. I mean, it's so wonderful to know that you can go this extent for me and my sister. It's nothing. <laughs> Thank you so much. Actually, we're short of words right now. Um, we're so grateful they came into our lives saying you made it so beautiful. It's nothing. Anything for this man here. <laughs> Thank you. Just an excuse you guys. <laughs> 
Just sit down and tell me what are the changes you want to make. <laughs> Yvonne, mm? you are gradually becoming a drunk. What do you expect I do, huh? What do you expect I do? I mean, body no be fire wood now. It's been three weeks I had sex. Oh, uh -huh. hot sex. What? <laughs> <laughs> Why? Why? You know, with this my new status, I can't like sleep with nobody. It has to be like a classy guy or a very rich dude. I can't go low class. You know now, I'd rather go celebrate than sleep with just anybody. I can't stand all those broke guys, please. I need money. Money to take care oh, of this house. Uh, goodness, Eva, yeah. are you out of your mind? Everybody <laughs> needs sex. That is your problem. As for me, I need a soldier who carries big things if you know what I mean. I know Ooh! <laughs> <laughs> no, but seriously, I mean, like my darling Jordan, oh. Yvonne. Mm. That guy isn't tall. Uh oh. He's not fat. Mm -mm. God, he is a horse. What trips me the most is the way he screams his name when he's on top of me. Like that. What's my name? Ow! Jump! Jump! <laughs> <laughs> Go say that to the birds, okay? Do you, do you think I'm daft? Jordan, I'm sorry, but I'm not stupid. I'm not daft. Look, it's so obvious that you're falling in love with her. I see the way you look at her lustfully. I see it. What? Yes, and the way you even kiss her when I'm around. Not even caring. Okay. Sweetness, listen. It can never be anything more than what you see, all right? Listen, she's so intelligent. And she, if she finds out you're not my sister, she could strike. <laughs> strike. That's all I'm saying. Hey, she could strike. Do you know how it hurts me when I see my man in the arms of another woman doing stuff that I'm supposed to be doing with him? Do you know how that makes me feel? Goodness. Fine. I accepted that we're going into all this. But that's because I wanted us to travel and leave this country. But right now, it's choking me. It is choking me. I cannot even. I can't. Listen, I understand, okay? But please, I just want you to hang in a bit, okay? Just, just hang in a bit, please. Okay. So then, what happens? What if she tricks you into falling in love with her? Come on. What happens to Vivian? What happens Come to on, me Come on, that's now? not gonna happen. All right? Okay. I love you so much, okay? And I promise you that nothing is going to separate us. Nothing is going to separate us. Alright? Nothing is going to come in between us. I promise you. For real? Yeah. I'm very serious. Hmm? <coughs> yeah, hi, yeah. How are you? Um, no. I've been here for like five minutes and she hasn't come. Baby, listen, I'm sorry, okay? I know this is messed up, but I just, I just have to do it. Okay, okay, just permit me to be bad this once, okay? And that's all, please. I know, I promise you, I'll make it. Okay, I think she's there, I'll call you back. Hi, I don't know. <laughs> Hi, thank you so much. Are you okay? Yeah, I'm fine. I was actually um, taking juice. Um, do you want some? Oh, no, no, I'm fine. I'm fine. Thank you. I'm all right. Well, um, Jordan. Yeah. I heard something about you. So I thought it wise to ask you in person. Okay. 
and um, what could that be? Well, I heard that um, you have what it takes. You know what I mean? Yeah. <laughs> to make a sister go, wow. <laughs> <laughs> um, well, um, in other words, you mean um, to make a woman sexually fulfilled? Yeah, something like that. So, um, I'm asking, what will it cost the sister sitting in front of you to get a chunk from that piece? Um, <laughs> okay. Okay, let's just say if you can take care of this brother, you know, supply all his needs, and um, he's all yours. Are you sure that you can handle this, sister? Yeah. You sure? You did seriously. I've noticed that you hardly go out these days. Hope there's no problem. No, <laughs> no, no. It's just that since Jordan came into my life, he's restricted me from lots of things. And so now that he's traveled, I, I don't have the urge to go out. Uh, my girl is in love. Yes, yes, I am. I love. <laughs> um, does this um, Jordan have? A sister, a cousin, or a sibling? Yes, yes, he his sibling, Vivian. Oh, Vivian. Yeah, because I saw him two weeks ago at the supermarket with a girl named Vivian. I think he's being shady. No, he dare not. And the thought of sharing him with another woman would just <coughs> me go crazy. Stop it. <laughs> <laughs> right. Why on earth would he want to leave? I'm concerned you're doing this for your own selfish reason. I mean, because how do you explain the sudden switch from Judith to Yvonne? It's crazy. How do you explain that? Sweetheart, Judith is stingy. Hmm. Okay? All she could do was get this house for us. And trust me, that's not what we need. But Yvonne, <sighs> barely two days I met her. She bought me an expensive car. Baby, listen. All I need is some time, okay? I just, I just want to get what I want from these girls and, and we'll travel to Canada. And we'll just, we'll just go get married. 
please. Oh, please, get your filthy, cheating fingers off me. As far as I'm concerned, from this day on, you're not touching this body again until you're done with all those Vivian, slots. you don't have to talk like please, this. Man. Please. Close the door. Close the door. Who's there? <laughs> oh, here I am. I got this place. Oh, you did? Yes, did. Oh, oh my god. <laughs> Thank you very much. That's very lovely of you. Welcome, darling. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah, um, I just felt I should come spend the weekend with you guys. Oh, that, <laughs> yeah. That would, that would be lovely. Yeah. Okay, come on in. Come on in. Oh, yeah. Um, please go get my things from the car. The car is open. All right. Yes. Take it down. Sure. You look great. Uh -huh. <laughs> uh -huh. After you. Okay. <laughs> Come here, I missed you so much. Uh, I missed you too. Yeah. Okay. Please, I'm sorry. I promise you that everything will soon be over, okay? You know what? I'm just gonna go to the next flat, to our. I'll just be there. If you need me, just call me, whatever, I'll come. Vivian, please. Please, please, I'm sorry, please. Stop please. it, Jordan. What do you expect me to do? That I should be in this house while you and your girlfriend will be making love all night and screaming? I should be there listening to all that rubbish? Vivian. The problem is with you, girl. I mean, how could you consent to such nonsense in the first place? If you had bluntly refused and insist on you both working hard to earn the money for your visa, no woman would be sleeping with your man right under your nose. I mean, it's madness. It doesn't make sense. I know, Abwa. I know now. See, the deed has already been done right now. All I need is advice on how to get rid of all those desperate men from my Jordan. That's all I need to know. Well... I'm not too sure, but yeah, I think you should let the first lady know about her friend's shameful display with your fiancé. What? No, no, that would be suicidal. I can't do that. What if she gets so upset and then trying to hurt um, Jordan? <laughs> she will only do that if only she doesn't love him as much as he claim. Please, let's leave claims out of this. I know that lady is head over heels in love with my Jordan. I know that for sure. Then she will hurt her friend, not Jordan. Okay then, but what if she, you know, tells Jordan, tell her friend, and I get caught up in the middle and all that? What if all that happens? How, oh, yeah. That is if you are silly enough to let her know your identity. All you need to do is hide your identity, dial her number, tell her that you are a good neighbor who simply doesn't think it's right for her best friend to be cheating on her. Tell me that you're exhausted. Oh, wait, 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 wait. <laughs> Is this the first time you've done it all night? <laughs> Yvonne, do you want to kill me? Huh? You were here throughout last week. Even this week. <laughs> I, I guess I overpriced you. Or maybe my informant. Over exaggerated. <laughs> okay, listen. Maybe she didn't tell you that she was always on top of me, helping mm. me save some energy. Okay. <laughs> but you, you like to be at the receiving end all the time. Oh, come on, baby. I totally understand. But baby, never, 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 never. 
compare me to Judith ever again, okay? Of course he doesn't have to. Can you compare to me in any way? <sighs> oh, <laughs> Judith. I mean, <laughs> what a pleasant surprise. I mean, how come you came here this early? And don't tell me that you didn't sleep at home last night. Oh, shut did you feel this thinking trap? And don't you dare play friends with me, you cheap backstabber. My goodness, do you think you had your eyes on him all along and you pretended like he wasn't your speck? I hope you trip and fall. Ah, oh, sweetie, sweetie, listen. Tell me, what was I supposed to do? Tell the whole world that I'm sleeping with Jordan? You are so irritating. You're so pathetic. My goodness. To think that you are my best friend makes me sick. Oh, really? Then you need to see the doctor, darling. Mm -hmm. You need to see a doctor, Yvonne. Because you have gone mad. You have gone insane, completely berserk. Jordan, this is the meeting you had in Lagos? This, this is the meeting you had in Lagos? My God, I am so disappointed. As for you, yes, darling. I'll see you at home, definitely. Loser. <laughs> ciao, ciao. Ciao, ciao. Bitch. Yeah. How? Are you feeling bad? No, darling. No, baby. No. No. Okay. No, don't be scared. That's what you are. Else, she will not be sleeping with my mind under my nose. Even though it was wrong, it's heartbreaking. But please do not allow it to ruin your friendship. I beg you. You know what, sweetheart? Tell you about this low lie standing in front of me. You are so pathetic! <laughs> My goodness! You're not even sorry! sorry. The chief manager is not even sorry! Sorry? Sorry about what? Huh? Sorry about what you did? Oh, because I decided to show you my this time. It is wrong. All those years I've been showing you my men. I need to find them Okay? You have to so much show you men. Listen to me, darling. That boy is there. It's too cheap for me. You can't even pay my price. Yes. And you want to die for him? Go ahead. Die. Kill yourself. Kill you. Who will die in painful, shameful, and pathetic death. Tell her. I don't blame you. <laughs> of course not. You inherited your loose your mother. And you have the pastor's daughter, would you keep having the next I can deal with that. Deal with it, darling. Listen to me. I will make this town so hot for you, you will not believe it. You stake your life on that. No problems. But before then, could you get your sorry self out of my paradise? Your paradise is deep. You mean the one you stole from a dead man? Yvonne, you're very lucky that I need to have this rubbish with you. You've not had an acid bath right now. What is wrong with you? Do you think the whole world is going to end in this with that Girl, take a chill pill and just think. You know what? You get your sorry self out of my house before I roast you the way your parents were roasted back in just. I don't do that. My parents were born from church, right? By the time you get born, you're going straight to the pit of hell. You're going to hell, Dash. Yeah, that's my house. Why leave me? Why leave me? Go on. Enjoy the rest of the party, my daughter. Go on. Enjoy. Don't leave me. Get out. Let's see you. Oh, yeah. Let's see you. Leave me. 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 I think I know exactly what to do. What? Hello? Mr. Ken? Yes, my name is Judith. I'm the lady who got an apartment from you with Jordan. Somewhere around Jerry. Yes, how are you? Listen, I need an apartment urgently. No, no, something different from what Jordan has. A duplex will do. Perfect. All right, thank you. I'll be expecting your call. 
Thank you. Bye. Should have tried in such a hurry to get accommodation. We can still stay here for a while. Because that good for nothing loser will make fun of us if we're still in a hotel. I want to beat her to her own game. But do you have enough money to get a duplex? I mean, we should get something no, for small no, apartments. No, no, no. It has to be a duplex. Yvonne is going to take the whole beefing thing to another level. What level? And a fizzy level. Now we have to play with her head roll for head roll. Alright then, bumper to bumper it is. I just can't believe that she would do that to me and still have the nerve to talk. She's not even... Okay, you need to tell me exactly what happened between you and Judith when I and Doris were in Joss. I need to be clear, if not you leave me with no other choice than to pack my things and leave for Joss this minute. Do you want to listen to me or you want to keep blabbing? Oh yes, can go on ahead and talk. close to your heart, like they are your own. That was how I took Judith, until I realized that she was just a selfish gold digger. Back in the days of primary and secondary school, you, Judith, and myself were best of friends. I was closer to Judith because we had a lot of things in common, like sharing men at some point. It all started in our days in SS1 class. I have a friend is telling times in my business. You see? Frank, why don't you understand me? Imagine, I don't want her to feel jealous. How will she feel sitting and watching us doing it? She can go outside for all she can't. She can go out. Please, just do this. What are you saying? Do you want me to die? Do you? You won't die. It's going to kill you. Please. Please, Frank. Don't do this for me. I'm sorry to disappoint you. I'm not doing it. You can't do it. Go ahead, Frank. I thought you said you loved me. Anyway, I cannot see better. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. What's this? Let's go, please. Oh, you. Even when we couldn't have a threesome, I went first, then linked her up with the same man. Everything, everything Judith boasts of today was gotten through that. Okay. That settles the man sharing. What dead man was she talking about? Mm -hmm. Baby, I mean, don't tell me that you travel with all this money. <laughs> no, 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 my dear. No. See, uh, this is money for uh, some uh, things that I supplied. They just paid this evening, and the banks are closed. So, I, I, I bring it home, you know, and uh, Monday will be paid. But then I remember I'm traveling. So, but I'll be back midweek, so it's all right. <laughs> but baby, this, this amount is huge. You can't just leave this money here in your bedroom. What if someone just walks into your house and breaks into your house and just takes the money? <laughs> I mean, it's, it's a lot of money. It's huge. Oh, baby, baby. You see, this whole house, I have two keys. You have one, I have the other. So, you see, 
If you don't break in, and I don't, then nobody else can come into this place. <laughs> I know, babe. I just totally forgot that your house is perfectly secured. Oh, yes. Oh, and if anyone has uh, the misfortune of breaking in, it's going to be totally impossible for them <laughs> no, to break baby. out. <laughs> <laughs> baby, I'm going to miss you so much. Oh, I'm going to miss you an awful lot. <laughs> so tell me, mm. who are you going to see in London? Which other woman? What? Yes, baby. I'm there, but my heart is here. <laughs> <laughs> so tell me, when are you taking me on your next trip to Paris? Mm, the next one to yeah, Paris. Paris. Yes, and to Rome. Yes, and to check the stuff. Oh yeah. my what? word! What? <laughs> it's only past your flight time. Maybe, maybe I should just um. No. <laughs> for, forget the flight. No, baby, you can't do that. That's your business. <laughs> oh yeah, you're right. Yeah. <sighs> Maybe you have to hold your knees, like... <laughs> yes, ma'am. Ow, quite heavy. Uh -huh. <laughs> yeah, we'll <go. laughs> Equivalent to 150 million naira. I pray. I pray <laughs> Yes. Me. Have you joined formal naira? Oh, or is this ritual money? <laughs> on the second thought, I think of not. Hey. But come on, Yvonne, you don't have gold in here. I know I don't have gold in here. But babes, listen. This is our money, right? You want to know how I got this money, right? I'll explain to you. But first. Yvonne! Hey Yvonne, I pray. Yvonne! Hey! His name was Chief Tonya. He was my boyfriend. A quite older man. He had a lot of money. He bought me my first car. The car Jesus is driving today. Everything you see in this house today, the cars, the house, I got it from the money I stole from him. That was how we made our money. I guess that was what she meant when she threatened to expose me. Forgetting that she is an accomplice. And I have something that will land her in jail. So you could not close your useless mouth. You went around the whole street broadcasting how you slept with me and my friend, right? Do you not have the guts to come to my house and talk rubbish? You are such an idiot. I'm an idiot? Yes. Now let me ask you two of you. What were you thinking when you agreed to be sleeping with one man at the same time? What were you thinking? She prostitutes. What? It is your mother, your sisters, your aunties and your wife to be their prostitutes. You call my mother a prostitute? Yes. We 
time I'm so with Judith in this town, she will regret ever knowing me as her friend. I will so deal with her, she will just forget the first letter of my name. I mean, someone I brought from the goddess? I took him from, from the good and brought her to Port Harcourt? And she wants to deal with me in this town? <laughs> she doesn't know who she's even messing with. Judith, you're just a small fry. so I can buy fuel. Oh, move this car out of here. Mike. Oh, what car do you want to buy for me? Um, that car? Yeah. Oh my god! <laughs> girl, go change your car. And stop being a girl all over the street without nothing. Please. It's a rickety car already. Oh, please. I mean, move this thing away. Do you need to take it? No. who calls you in this matter? So you can't have fun. Oh, just, just take it easy, okay? I'm good. Please move this your ball kai wait y'all. Chief, I'm ready to go. What is it again? Judith, I'm not satisfied. I need more from behind. No, 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 Chief. I told you I don't have sex from behind anymore. I can't. Judith, just, just do it. I will, I will change your life. Chief, I don't have sex from behind again. Judith, please. You know what I can do? Just mention what you want. I'm going to give it to you. Don't Double. Sure. What will you give me? Judith. That's the reason why they call me Don Pedro in the city. I've not promised anything. I will turn your life around. I'm making a great woman in the city. Chief, Chief. Tell me first. Tell me what I want you to give to me. I want to know to Trust me. Have I promised you that I can do it? I'm sorry, you're saying Come you here. don't let me feel that. So you're saying you don't let me feel that? I'm going even more than that. 
<laughs> and see, I'm doing great. I'm doing great. You know, I'm not like a photo haircut video. <laughs> yes, Auntie. <sighs> you did. Yeah, Auntie, you know you warned me against that girl. You know how things are. I didn't listen to you, but she's a devil herself. She's such an ingrate. Such an ingrate. Auntie, you don't even want to know everything she's done, done to me so far. But it's okay, it's okay, it's one of those things. I'm still in control though. I'm still the biggest chick in Port Harcourt. <laughs> yeah, T, okay then. Well, how are you doing? I know you're doing good as usual. <laughs> okay, um, yeah. Yeah, I'm fine, I'm, I'm great, I'm great, I'm great. Okay, take care, dear. Take care, love you, love you more, love you more. <laughs> bye bye. How was Auntie Carol again? Oh, yes, Auntie Carol. She was talking about Judith, like, you know. The quarry and all. You know, she actually warned me against you, but I didn't listen. Is she not going back I really don't know right now because, you know, she's been there for like months now. I know she really wants to stay there or something, you know. <laughs> well, our business, it seems she leased the place to somebody else, I guess. But I think she's running as well. But she's really happy in America, you know. She's really doing great. And I'm happy for her. Okay, babes. We also have ice cream. <laughs> oh my god, I'm watching my weight. Can you imagine? them transport fare to come to Port Harcourt. They will so regret it. <laughs> oh my god. You don't even know who they are dealing with. You guys should take it easy before you start killing each other. Especially that foul-mouthed low-life Doris. You think she can just say whatever she wants to say and go scot-free? By the time I'm through with her, <laughs> oh my god, she won't even know what hit her. Can you just, can you just imagine what an increase? Nowhere? That I send money to every weekend from, from Port Harcourt? Enough! Oh, I am so bad. Look at who I've been trying to help. Doris. Doris just came to display in my compound and say whatever she wants to say to me. Me, Yvonne, who picked her up from the gutters, who paid her transport fare to Port Harcourt. God, I am so bad. Where we used to be as sisters. Shoma, 
The fact that we used to act like sisters does not mean we're sisters. You hear? Doris, was I talking to you? Instead of you to come here and let's make peace, you're there taking sides. <laughs> like I expect any less from you. You're only taking sides with Yvonne because you live with her. Abby, you've only come here to gather gist so you can see what to gossip to Yvonne about when you get back to that place you call a house. Right? Mm -hmm. For your information, as you can see. We are living large. Extra large. You understand? And we bought this house. We didn't rent it. You get? Doris. The fact that we are friends does not give you the right to insult. I beg, I beg, I beg! Shema, quit it with this your holier than thou attitude. I beg, quit it! Doris, Doris, Doris. Shema is right. I don't think you should insult her. You know, she only came here to make peace. Oh, please, Judith. I've had enough of her and Yvonne. Look, Shema, Judith is my sister. And if I like, I'll carry this whole matter and put it on my head. Show your head. Eh? And when you get back to that place you call a house, tell Yvonne that I said she has not seen the last of us. Look at what comes out of my mouth. Eh? Look at what comes out of my mouth. You don't have to come here and let's all this out once and for all. No wonder Yvonne threatened to deal with her. Shoma, what will Yvonne do? I'm asking you, what will Yvonne do to Doris? That dirty, filthy, stinking manhunter slept with my man. And she felt no remorse about it. All she did was threaten and insult me. What will she do? Choma, go back and tell her that I said I'm not afraid of her. Anyhow she wants it, I will give it to her. Such effrontery. Judy, all I'm asking is for us to come back to the way we used to be. We were sisters, remember? I pray Mono come back, Choma. I pray Mono come back. Please, I beg. What will you drink? What will you eat? No one vex. <sighs> she, 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 she will deal with Doris. Question? No, 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 no. You daughter of a dog. Haven't you heard about enough? You are here to see my man. My man. Oh. That's why I'm asking you, what are you doing here? What are you doing here? You know what, sweetie? I made you. I picked you from the gutter. That is how it is. Oh, you speak about the gutters? You look like the gutters. Hey, girls, girls, listen. I'm not going to let you do this here. This is my premises and you're disturbing me. Oh. You're embarrassing me and I don't like it. Well, Jordan, if you're so embarrassed, ask this bitch how slut to take her black scrub out of his place right now. No, 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 baby, listen, don't listen to her, okay? Ask her to leave. She's oh, so listen. Hard to Is that how you want it? Oh, yes. I'll do it my way. That's my man. Leave. Uh, what? Yes. Are you crazy? Are you crazy? Right are you get Go to this car. Go. You two, you're going right what now. What are you doing? I'm going to kick her and get her ass into the car. He wants me to get ghetto? Okay. I'll get ghetto. Oh. You are from the ghetto, I'll darling. Get you are from the I ghetto. I am so ghetto. Get out of there. Push me. Jesus! Get in! Go! You don't want to leave? Wait, this? It's a jeep. I'll bash it. Hold up! Hold it inside! I'm getting inside. I'm going, I'm going! You hey, fool! Get out! Jesus! Get out! Go, go. Fine, I'm going, I'm going. 
Get out! Go in! God has been faithful, very faithful. The Bible says we can do all things through Christ that strengthens us. And the Bible is complete. He's just been faithful. Hey, yeah. Uh, what of uh, Yvonne? How is she coping? Huh? Mama, Yvonne has now become a big time prostitute in Patakot. Yeah. She never since she left the town and told us that um, she was in school. We all believed that. But to our surprise, when we got to um, Patakot, we found out that she now runs a beer parlor with her auntie. Mama, that is where Yvonne gets all her numerous male customers from. Yvonne now hops from one bed to the other. Mama, if you see Yvonne, if you see Yvonne, you will weep for the woman that gave birth to her. Chineke! Hmm. No wonder her mother told me that Yvonne bought her a car and a house at Rayfield. And I begin to wonder how and we are an ordinary student of university got money to do all that. Mm. Mm. She even opened a big supermarket for her mom. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Hey, don't you understand? Do you know why they call them cheap prostitutes? It is because for as low as 200 naira, any man can sleep with them. 200 naira. Yvonne's case is different. She sleeps with men and they give her big money. Because I hear she uses champs. And that immediately those men sleep with her. They forget their families entirely. Lord of Jesus, save us. God, I thank you. Since you gave me these children, I've never had cause to regret. Bless his name. Bless his name. Thank you, Jesus. Almost true, sir. My children, like I said before, I want you to continue to manage the way you've been doing. Things are very hard, quite well, but with God, everything is possible. I want you to do things that concerns God. Always read your Bible, pray, and go to church. If you involve yourselves with things of God, you will have little or no time for things of this world. As you return to school, I want you to manage this 10,000 naira. Thank you, man. Use it judiciously. Is that clear? Thank you. God will give it to you. Yes, my children. Hold on, I said it. 
Baby, her Vivian is just nice. Oh no, sweetie, no, no. There is no need to lie. No. You know what? I took the liberty of investigating you. I know everything, everything about you and Vivian. I know that she donated her kidney just to save your life. That is so awesome. And I also know that you are from a very, very poor home, Dio. Isn't that your real name? <laughs> no, sweetie, don't make that face. No, don't make that face, darling. <laughs> now, <laughs> let me break it down for you. I got interested in this whole thing because of Judith's obsession about you and her refusal to share you as we used to do. You know, I want to set you free so you can marry your sweetheart, Vivian. But on one condition, I want you to sleep with dogs. Take pictures of her and bring me the negatives. What? And I'll give you 1.5 million naira 
one millionaire right now and 500,000 once the job is done. Because if she meets you in this house, she's going to bring the truth down. Doris, listen, I know you have every reason to be mad at me right now. But please, I need you to forgive me. Okay, please. Oh, shut up, Jordan, shut up! Ah, how could you do that to Judith? How could you sleep with Yvonne of all people? How? Why? I just don't know how it happened. Listen, Yvonne seduced me to sleep with her. And I just, I don't know how it happened. Please, okay? I just need you to understand. Listen, I want you to help me. You're the only person that can help me right now. Please, help me talk to Judith, okay? It's okay. But you really need to leave now. I don't want to get the matter any more complicated than... Oh, uh, okay. But you ha have to promise me you help me talk to her. I'll try, but you really need to get going now. Please. She won't find me for you at all. Thank you very much. I really appreciate it. Um, Judith, I Please, can I get your number so I can call you to find out where we can do it? Okay, let me give you all the information. I sleep with Doris. What? Rubbish! Nonsense! That is not even happening! How can she even think of a thing like that? How can she? I knew it was gonna get to this. I allowed you. Because I love you selflessly. That's why I allowed you in the first place. And now they want you to sleep with the whole of Kakot. The whole of Tako, my man. I'm tired. I'm not having this. I'm not having this. I'm not having this. I'm, having this. Vegan, come on. I, I'm sorry, please. Listen, listen, listen to me. I know I'm messing up, okay? But I want you to understand that I'm doing it for us. I'm. Baby, listen, I love you, okay? I'm sorry, please. This is business. I just want you to get that, please. Okay? I don't like what I'm doing, but I have to do it. <laughs> Begin, please. Come here, please. Please, okay, please. Please. <laughs> Yeah, hello? Hi, hi, Doris, what's up? How are you? Are you okay? Yeah, um, I, I actually called to know if I can see you right now. Yeah, I'm so, I'm so worried, like, th this whole thing is killing me. I miss Judith so much. It's okay, take it easy. So, where do you want us to meet? Um, okay, I, I think my house will be, will be okay. Yeah, because it will make us talk freely, okay? Besides, I'll be very, very glad to host uh, my sister-in-law. <laughs> Your house. Okay, I'll, I'll, I'll be there at 12 man. Oh, thank you very much. Listen, you don't know what you've done for me right now. I'm so grateful. Thank you so much. I'm expecting you, okay? All right, bye. And who are you talking to? Um, a new cash. Aha! That's good for you. Who is he? I'm not telling you. I'm not <laughs> telling you. No, you better be careful. Whatever. I'm going inside. Hey! Hey! Bye. Doris, how are you doing? I'm great. Are you okay? Yeah, I'm fine. Come here. Take a seat. Hi, Doris. Hi. Hey. Uh, um, 
I must say you look um, ravishing. Thank you. Very beautiful. Thank you very much. Um, what can I offer you? Um, anything you have, sorry. Did you do alcohol? Definitely. I was actually <laughs> taking brandy before you oh, came. No, 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 no. Oh, okay. Okay, oh, okay. Let me get a glass. Yeah, just yeah. get glass. Yeah. So, how are you doing? I'm fine. Um, and how is um, Judith? Ah, oh, she's great. Okay, that's all right. I'm so happy that you came around, you know. I'm sorry. <laughs> there you go. Oh, yeah, I'm just... just... Um, excuse me. Yeah. Thanks. Um, I you can take sips. Ah, oh, thanks. Mm -hmm. Um, please, I really need you to help me talk to your sister. All right, just help me tell her that I love her so much, and I really want to get married to her. Don't worry, I'll I'll, I'll talk to her for you. Just. And um, the Yvonne's issue is actually a mistake. Okay. Don't worry, I'll, I'll talk to her. <laughs> Are you alright? Doris! this picture, you can tell that the girl in the picture is unconscious. Well, that would have been if it was a video coverage, but this is a still photograph, okay? So it is very possible that she could have blinked her eyes when the shot was taken. Okay, you win. Um, I'll have to give you your balance now, right? Thank you so much for a job well done. You're welcome. Um, are the negatives here? Everything is. Are you sure? Everything is in there. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, um... Okay. Um, yeah, one more thing. I want you to take your sister lover out of this town because if Judith sees this picture, <laughs> she's going to pull a bullet through this head of yours. Yeah, right. Thank you for everything. Thank you for Baby, I'm so sorry. Please forgive me, okay? I, I am human and I'm bound to make mistakes, all right? Listen, Yvonne was a total blunder on my part, but I'm terribly sorry about it. Jordan, you're such an embarrassment to the male folk. A disgrace, a shame to be called a man. Mm -hmm. Very true. You have the F on tree? The temerity to be sleeping with my friend, God alone knows for how long. Listen, the only reason I'm here is because of Doris, else you will not set your demeaning eyes on me. Baby, I swear to you, it was once, okay? It was once I slept with her and it didn't happen again. Which makes you a thief and a cheap liar. What do you take me for, Jordan? A fool? An illiterate? Look at me very well. I am a player and a good one at that. You'd better be careful, Jordan. You'd better be careful. Baby, I still care about you. I love you. I don't care about you, Jordan. I don't care one bit about you. Jordan, why do I have this feeling you're seeking my forgiveness because you want to beg for something? I mean, I'm used to your begging. You beg this, you beg that, you beg everything. You beg too much. So tell me, what is it you want to beg for this time? Baby, baby, 
please okay i it's not like i need much right? i just need some little cash you know to, to take care of stuff you know you have some nerve you brought me here to beg to beg for some cash for your upkeep to to beg correct me if i'm wrong the wristwatch my money the hand chain my money your dress my money your what is it called golden suit my money your glasses my money your shoes my money you had the air to sleep with my friend and you bring me here to to beg <sighs> guys a beggar Huh? Yeah, who's this? What do you mean you can't say your name? Listen, listen. I hate to take anonymous calls because they are very annoying. If you have anything to say to me, you better say it now before I hang up. What? Who? Who was that? What does the person want? Um. Just some anonymous caller with um, a weird allegation of you sleeping with Jordan, right? What? Me? Sleeping with Jordan? That person must be high on cheap drugs. I wonder. <laughs> Such expensive joke. Doris? Hmm? Um, it's not like I, I... um. Have you ever slept with Jordan? I'm disappointed in you. You're even more ridiculous and pathetic than the person that called you. No, no, I'm not saying that. Please, no, wait, please, 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 I'm not in the mood. Please, Doris, wait, wait. Doris. Um, Doris, uh, I'm so. Don't worry, stop begging me. I've told you I will try my best. Don't worry. Everything okay, will be fine. I'm relaxed, but I just want you're to not, be sure. You're not, you're not. You've been writing about the same thing over and over again. I will. Please, okay? Baby now. I'm not baby. I'm watching a movie. Oh, okay. Doris? Yeah. Have you seen or heard from Jordan in a while? Um no. Why? At all? Girl, this is what you need to wear to the party. This dress is hot as in it is mad. Oh uh, no. I was thinking I was going to wear something a bit. Crazy. Judith, you want to wear something crazier than this? Girl, if you wear anything crazier than this, it's going to be tagged as nudity. I mean, in as much as you plan on winning so many souls onto the line, <laughs> you need to look a bit decent because there are going to be loads of big shots at that party. Yeah, I know, but... Look to... at the dress. The dress is mad. It's just going to cling to your body like that. I know. This is what you need to wear, girl. This is it. I just think that the church is empty. I know your church is empty. Are you going to get? There's nobody there now. This is what you're wearing. My church is empty. Wearing this dress is because of one party. It's because ah. I want the church to be full. I'll just think about that. Alright, this is what you need to wear. I know I want to. Yeah, thank you so much, yes. Yeah, thank you. Hey! Babe, baby, guess what? We have to be there. We just have to be at this party. This type of party comes once in 10 years. Hmm, the way you talk about this party, I feel it's gonna be fire. Fire? <laughs> fire is an understatement. It's gonna be more than fire. Hmm. Guess what? Thanks for coming is just 250,000 there. 250,000, just for thanks for coming. <laughs> Babe, it is strictly by invitation. And your girl here has two. Woo! 
five years. Ah, oh, that's my chick. Oh my well, god. Why don't we go and sort out what to wear? Of course, yeah, we have to, we have to. But you know, I'm gonna wear the red dress. The short red dress. What are you wearing? Short for me. Oh my god, always bow short. <laughs> oh seriously. I'm gonna look like Surprised you learned how to drive from a lousy mechanic. Oh, shut your dirty trap, Ivan. I've had just about enough of your blabbing, okay? Now, the only reason why my cousin and I stopped you, or rather, double crossed you, is because we're going to a very important party. And as we were told, losers are not invited. So I'm wondering, yep. where are you going? Where are you going? Because it's strictly by invitation. <laughs> well, darling, I'm going to the same party. And the person who invited me told me that. You know, wannabes are allowed, but not low lives like you. Oh, please, everyone, shut up. I've had enough of you. Just hold it! Look at you, puppy. Uh, do I oh. look like a puppy to you? Oh, get alive, right. darling. No, get alive. You will get, you get, get alive. alive. Two shameless <laughs> friends. <laughs> I cannot believe you brought your beef. Shoma, please, just shut up! Shut up! I've had enough of you! Not to worry, Yvonne. All she does is blab. Peacemaker. Uh. Go on, blab. Let me warn you, Yvonne. If you come an inch close to me with your dirty field, this thinking unbelievable ass, and you try to spoil things for me, I will so make sure you don't well, get back to Well, she doesn't so have anything on you. I hope you don't. don't. I hope you don't. don't. This girl for spoiling my night. You know what? I've had this up to here. I'm tired of all this nonsense. I'm tired of it. Well, I didn't really see what happened back there. I mean, I was chatting with my new catch, whom you didn't allow me round off with. Were you blind? No, I wasn't. I mean, didn't you notice that that daft celebrant was staring at me before those two Lola just walked in and spoiled all my plans? What plans? <sighs> Wait, you didn't notice that the celebrant was actually seated opposite us? Staring at me and blinking at me, and I was smiling at him. And I was just waiting for him, you know, like a like a fine girl consent, waiting for him to just come up to me and make the first move. Before those stupid girls just walked in and spoiled everything for me. Oh. I thought you said he came from America. I mean, back there, women ask men out. Doris was just smarter than you. You think so? Yes. I think so. Well, 
You have to get your butt off that seat and go to bed. It's 2 a.m. and I'm tired. But when I'm still so peaceful, I will so do it. May I get over it? Okay, I'm just responsible for this whole thing. Ah. And she just bought everything for me. Especially that stupid girl and that long life of a joy. I'm going to deal with her later. Come in. Sit down. Are you trying to play secretive? Or you want me to beg for the gist? Tell me, you got back last night after seven days and then you still keep your lips sealed? Come on! Tell me something. Do you, what happened? Do you know you scared me? <laughs> God, the way you said sit down, I was like, okay, what did I do again? Tell me. Anyways. To think that that's how you told me to come all the way to your room because of Jesus. Yes, that's why I called you. Tell me. I'll tell you. After that night when we left the club, mm -hmm. Barak told me to come to his hotel and we just chilled till the next evening. That's all. No, 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 there's, um, there's more to be said and you know that. Tell me all, all okay, everything. Okay, 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 I'll tell you. He got a call that night that I had to be in Ghana for a conference and he asked me to come with him. But I didn't want to go. But he was just sweet talking to me and everything. I was like, okay, 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 I'll go. And we got to Ghana and girl, he showed me the best time of my life. I know. <laughs> and then we left Ghana, I came back to Port Harcourt and he proposed to me. It's a lie. It is. Lie. Like, I can't believe it myself. I still like a dream. Ah! <laughs> Barack Donuts? Mm -hmm. CEO of a multi-billion dollar empire here yes. proposed to my my cousin. Yes, so <laughs> you kidding me? I swear, I'm still in shock myself. I cannot believe it. I think people go die for water cuts. People mm -hmm. are going to die in this water cut. Girl, you can say that again. Especially that stupid slut called Yvonne. Oh my god, she's okay. going to trip and fall! Oh, well, they will fall on top of themselves, you I can't shout. What? You are engaged to Barack? Yes, me. I pray. <laughs> Anyways, he wants us to get married ASAP, so you know we have to get going and get everything together. The plans, as in, I'm confused with everything, but we'll do it one way or the other. And we have to go to just to see moms and pops now and everybody, because as in, everything is still like a dream. Don't you? Please, I'm still, I'm, I'm still trying to get it in myself. So right now, you need to get me a drink and let us celebrate because you're my maid of honor. <laughs> yeah, I pray my logo. I pray my logo. Oh, I What's the drink, Joe? Ah! Thanks, Korea Services. Are you Miss Judith? Yes. Miss Okoye? Yes. Sorry, I have a letter for you. From where? I don't know. Okay, thank you. I have something to sign, I'm sorry. Oh, sure. Yeah. 
and um, to our, vi- our, our passport, our visas. <laughs> That's right, to our visas. <laughs> and to a thing called our love. Mm. Yeah. Okay, I'm gonna have it. You go there. <laughs> you know what? <clears throat> I think I should make a toast. Okay. Mm-hmm. To our ever, ever so green relationship. And of course, to me not being dumped by you. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> exactly, because I mean, those girls are so hot. So take the grace of God to save any man. Oh, come on. I'm glad we're still here. Come on, ways. come on. Listen, okay. Mm-hmm. Uh, does that give me some credit? No. Why aren't you enjoying it? Tell me, why aren't you? Listen, I was just, I was just playing games. Okay? Mm-hmm. I, I didn't mean anything else. Mm-hmm. I was playing games. What's your favorite? No, Did it? listen, listen. Uh-huh. Don't, go, Ooh, don't, is... don't even go. Oh, the dark skin one. Don't yeah. Go. <laughs> <laughs> I love you so much. I'm so happy we're going to Canada. I know, me too. <laughs> me too. Me too. Me too. Me too. Me everything. <laughs> Please, Shudi, don't tell me it's because of Jordan. Shut up your mouth! Shut up your dirty, filthy, stinking mouth! Don't you ever mention the name around me again, ever! I'm sorry, I didn't mean to get you. You should be. Get out of my sight. Get out! I can physical, just get out! My God, Judith, you're still awake? Come on, dear. You can't solve a problem by creating another. Hmm? This is past 11 p.m. and you're still awake, crying over your cousin's illness. My dear, if you continue like this, she will recover to come and start looking after you in the hospital again. And which is not good. Oh? Come on. Come dear. Go back to bed. Doris will be okay. She'll be alright. to ask you a favor. What is it? I need for you to escort me somewhere to a place where I bought landed property. I just want for you to see it before I pay so I, I don't make a mistake. No problem, we'll go later. No, no, no. Listen, get, get up. Your wedding planner is going to be here for 10 o'clock and it won't be nice if she meets neither of us at home. So get up. Come on, let's go. Just live for five minutes. No, no, get, get off. Oh, oh. That thing is the was about who wasn't about children. Look, the guy has moved on already. You should do the same. Yes, yes, you're, you're right. He's moved on, and I, I should move on too. So get dressed and let's go. Oh, oh, you always have to have your way. I always have to have your way.
dead bush at this time of the night? It is not a dead bush. This is where I bought my property. Why would you want to buy a land here? Why would you want to live here? Who said I'm living here? I only bought the property. I don't know why anybody ah. would want to buy anything. Here they are. Kind of the guys who sold the land to me. It's up to you. Good man. Good morning. Please, I'm, I'm here to see Jordan or, or Vivian, his younger sister, any of them at all. I, I need to see them now. I guess you are a bit late. How, how do you mean? Jordan and his wife Vivian traveled to Canada last night. I, I, I think you're making a mistake. Vivian is Jordan's kid sister. And we all thought so until he invited my uncle to their court wedding. That was the day before yesterday. You're kidding me, yes? I don't think their travel to Canada is only for their honeymoon because they sold everything in their apartment, including their car. Bastard. Bastard. Yes, unknown caller, what can I do for you? Known receiver. I've called to tell you something very interesting. Well, the last time you told me something, it made me do something extremely silly. So out with it because I'm rushing somewhere. Oh, to the airport? Who is this? Who is this and how did you know that? Where are you? <laughs> um, don't worry your head about it, darling, okay? And for the question, where I am? I am in my paradise, darling. Am I anyway talking to Yvonne? Of course you're speaking with Yvonne. The lady whose fingers fed you. The lady whose fingers you bit. And the lady who has sworn with everything she has to deal with you. Jesus! Yvonne? Yvonne? You made me kill my cousin? It's you? Oh, no, sweetie, no. <laughs> I did not make you kill your cousin. You killed your cousin. You're such a fool. I mean, were you blind? Didn't you see the pictures? Oh, darling. You know what? I paid Jordan to drug Doris and take those photographs. Because I knew that you'd be too blind to see that. <laughs> well, Judith, if I may advise you, I would say that just go back to your house, take a hot coffee, and mourn your brat of a cousin. And as for Jordan, he just called me to say that um, he just arrived in Canada and he's having a swell time with Vivian. <laughs> yeah, yeah, um, for the records, darling, for the records. I have everything on tape. How you and your men killed Doris. You strangled the poor girl. I mean, that is a very terrible thing to do, darling. <laughs> Yvonne! Yvonne! Oh! Judith called me. 
I'm going there. You're coming with me. No, 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 no. Don't, don't, don't worry. I'll, I'll, I'll come later, okay? I'll, I'll come later. Oh my God, these girls. Oh, this, this cheap rounds. Oh, it's not good. This cheap rounds they do. Hi. a bit short. Her name is Choma. Don't lay a finger on her. That's a minute. You get the balance after the job is done. Don't forget, before Kokro. We'll get back to it. Because it's like done. Now you just have to stop crying so I can hear you out. John, I'm gonna drop this one. I'll drop this one right now if you don't talk. What is the problem? What happened? You, you, you said what? Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. I mean <sighs> I know who did this. Of course, Judith, Judith, of course, who else would have done it? It's Judith. She sent her men after me, right? <laughs> no, it's okay. It's okay. I'm fine. I'm alright. I'm alright. You know what? Just don't get yourself worked up about that. I'm fine. And I can't really tell you where I am right now, but I'm in a hotel. I'm just chilling, okay? 
Yeah, listen to me, okay? Just listen. Just calm down. Just calm. Hope you're not hurt. Did they hurt you? Are you sure? Okay, fine, fine, fine. Just take it. Just calm down, right? Everything's under control. Trust me now. Just trust me. She's a small fry. Don't worry. She's a small fry, okay? <laughs> it's okay. It's okay. Take care. Yeah, I love you. Bye. Are you out of your mind? Have you gone totally berserk? You have the effrontery to stand before me and tell me you didn't meet her in her house? Where did she go? Where did she go? Ah! <laughs> you, you, you want to deceive me? You want to deceive me? Okay. Trust me. Your boss will certainly hear about this. Please, madam. We plead with you not to let our boss hear of this. It is against our rules to do a job without our boss knowing. We are still this day because of how close we are. Please give us more time. We will deliver. Some time. Yes. Two days. I give you two days to deliver. Else, I will so sing to your boss. We promise. Oh, stop bowing. Get out of my house. Send Tobs to kill your friend! What for? All because of the man! Huh? Judith, this is the worst that you have done! She has done worse! All the while we're beefing. Outside, I saw her as an enemy. But in these four walls, I saw her as a friend and a sister. What does that tell you? It means I love her. I love her so much. She felt wrong. She saw Doris and I as her enemies. That was why she... She made me... She made me... Kill Doris! Judith? You killed Doris? You killed Doris, Judith? What did she do to you? What was I supposed to do? I was upset. I thought she had done the same thing Yvonne did to me. And out of jealousy, I...
Go to my room. I, I have some money in my wardrobe. Check, check. Just check. Check my wardrobe. That's a long process. Okay, my bank is just around the corner. Go and get the money. No, no. Don't find it. Don't find it. It's been in that way. Listen. You have to help me tell me what. Tell me what I said. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, okay? Friend, my best, my best, best friend. You are going to be born. Tell someone get there, okay? Okay. Tell her just in case I don't get you. Get out of this place alive. Stop it. Tell her. I'm yes. Tell her, tell her. Because the queen is much. Tell her. Let me just rush this water. Okay. Okay. Chop, chop. Chop, chop. Chop. Okay, go, go, go. Don't let me go, okay? <laughs> ah, baby, baby, <laughs> baby, baby. <laughs> Hi, <Happy>. baby. <laughs> Hi. Allergy. Uh, let's go inside. No, baby. I just want to suck the breast. You just want to suck my breast. Just breast. You don't want to make love to me. No, 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 no. I just. Like to suck breast, that's all. Go in and wash. Okay. Mm -hmm. I will. Yeah. <laughs> well, baby, glad. baby. <laughs> <laughs> this man is really strange. He just wants to suck my breast. He doesn't want to make love to me. Whatever. Hello, baby. Hi. Sweet girl with little brain. By the time I finish sucking your breast, who will understand who Elijah Musa is? Excuse me, Nat. Where is my friend? He is just coming. Where is my friend? You have to go to your first office. What do you mean by that? Just pull yourself together. message for you. She said she loves you and that she, you are her best friend for life. Oh, oh my god. I hope you're happy now. And it's Then suddenly
at what I've gotten myself into. Look at what I've gotten myself into. I... Money's not everything. Money's not everything. does not guide a house in vain does the watchman guide it and when God hasn't said yes about a thing no one dares says yes to it who would believe that I used to live in this lonely space with three of my best friends who would believe that I lost them all within a space of one week Doris died on Tuesday two weeks to her wedding to Barak a multi-millionaire Judy died on Friday, exactly three days after, and Yvonne, the reason we all came here, died on Saturday, just yesterday. <laughs> Today is Sunday, our favorite day of the week, a day we go grooving like sisters. Who would have ever thought that a Sunday could ever be so boring in this paradise of ours? <laughs> as Yvonne would refer to it. The doctor said that I should take heart, that it was how God wanted it. But I put it to you, that it is rather the way we made it. You know, people often label things like this to the will of God. But no, I really doubt that. Because if Yvonne did not get jealous about Judith and Jordan's relationship, this wouldn't have happened. If Doris didn't prefer beef to peace, this wouldn't have happened. If Judith didn't turn greedy to their usual habit of sharing their men, this wouldn't have happened. Or should I say that if only we did not make it a habit to sleep with every other man just for the sake of money, maybe, just maybe my friends will still be here today popping wines and making more noise as we usually do. In a nutshell, this is a result of jealousy, greed, antagonism, selfishness, and pride. I must walk away from all this. But before then, I besiege with the Nigerian government to do something about the Jews crisis so that more young girls won't have to run out of jaws into their untimely graves in search of a better life. Please, I beg you, Nigeria, do something. Looking back to yesterday, see how Without you, I'm all alone. That's so very true. Without me, I'm feeling alone. Tell me why Why are we killing each other Fighting each other Why are we beefing each other I want to 